Joe Rogan talks about taxing corporations more won't help and shares a meme explaining how politicians use taxing the rich as a ploy to turn people against the rich. Brilliant takes. And more ways to spend your money. I can't the wait. I can't wait for another brilliant fucking take from the main man himself, dude. This guy every day, every day that passes by, I'm like, I love getting, you know, I love getting like a 90s era conservative. Joe Rogan talks about tort reform. You know what I mean? Like, I, he, he's just like devolved further. The problem with paying more taxes is they're just going to find more ways to spend your money. I don't necessarily think it's going to make anything better. You know, I think the bureaucracy in this country is so clogged up and fucked up and ineffective. I just, I don't think they would be better if that, like if we all just gave 75% taxes. Yeah. They, they're not going to fix the streets. They're not going to cure the homeless problem, fix all yeah. the crime. They'll just yeah. figure out more ways to spend. Yeah. yeah. They'll find new ways to tell you that the rich people are not paying their share. So you turn on them. Yeah. Here's, there's like a, I love memes. I've been yeah, bro. <clears throat> He's so right. God, he's so brilliant. And so right, fucking meme happy lately. Yeah, well, yeah, oh, they're so funny. It's like when things are gone, gone crazy. Mm -hmm. Like Seven I months. love memes mm -hmm. because it just seems like those are the that's the shit that they makes... sometimes summarize things perfectly. Yeah, right? yeah. But uh, someone just sent me one. What's up? It's all good, bro. My vision is dog shit. My <laughs> my vision is dog shit, dude. Every part of this is just boomer galore, dude. This is awesome. Top text, bottom text, incoming. He's showing a meme on his podcast. Oh my fucking god, dude! I I love this. I love this. I love this. This is this is it. This is peak podcasting, boys. This is the number one podcast on the planet. I love that. I'm not even. I'm not even being sarcastic. I just. I love that this is what uh, people consider to be like. You know, epic uh, broadcasting. He's like you in a few years. Is Bobber Bobber? Yes. He's me right now, motherfucker. So this one's like a cartoon. Oh, no, you don't need to fight them. You just need to convince the pitch pitchfork people that the torch people want to take away their pitchforks. Oh, yeah. It's real. It's real. Bro, what? <laughs> what? Bro, this isn't even a boomer meme. Bro, this is literally a fucking newspaper cartoon. This would be a boomer meme if we were in 1997, dude. Yo, that's awesome. This is like the original format before people were like, that's a meme. Yo, that's awesome. He completely misunderstands, doesn't he? It's literally a comic meme about the elites turning the workers against yeah, each yeah. other. Yes, this is about this. I mean, this is something that like a lot of uh, reactionaries nail, but don't really comprehend that they're a part of it. Okay. When they always say like, when, they, when people always say like, oh, no divisiveness, no divisiveness. Like when centrist and like center right people say no divisiveness, like this is kind of what they're talking about. Like divide and conquer as a, as a political strategy for those who own capital, right? It is literally at the heart of American politics. We have a two party system where we are constantly, uh, you know, engaging in culture war issues that have, uh, uh, that have no material basis. That uh, oftentimes is just not even a fucking divisive issue. It's just they're making it turn, uh, they're turning it into a divisive issue. Um, and and there is a bipartisan co consensus and constant compromise when it comes to deregulation, tax cuts for the wealthy, all this other shit. Um, you know, all this other shit. Uh, it, it, our endless expansive military project or our imperialist uh, endeavors overseas. Our domestic military uh, mili militarization project for the police force, um, all of that stuff is is uh, the real the real shit that uh, everybody agrees on. Took a train from Finland to Joe Russia. Joe Rogan shocked to learn it is illegal to steal from homeless people and suggest they should all just be shot. Okay, silent generation as meme. I mean, th this is what they would do if you got more taxes. I guess that's not a meme. That's a cartoon. Yeah. This is what they would do if they got more taxes. Hey, dumbass, this is what they're doing right now. Um, oh, here, this is the this is the Joe Rogan experience, once again. Uh, trained by day, Joe Rogan by night, all day. Let's take a look at what he had to say about homeless people. And then uh, we're on the underpass, and there's porta-potties. Not one, either. Like, four. Like, a deck of porta-potties. Wow. And then someone has a car parked there on the sidewalk. Like, partly on the sidewalk. So they're, like, half-blocking a lane. And then they have, like, a, a canopy draped over their car and they have just stacks of shit and then next to it was a dresser they had a dresser jesus so they had their shoes and a shoe rack there was a shoe rack oh the horror bro can you imagine having a fucking place to put your stuff like as human beings uh need you know 
Can you imagine creating shelter for yourself against all odds? That's really fucked up. I hate that. Now, look, is it an eyesore? Absolutely. Okay. I'm not like one of those Smile. fucking weirdo, like aesthetic liberals who's going to be like, uh, just turn the other cheek. Like, no, that shit sucks. Okay. That is a fucking gross uh, uh, abdication of responsibility from the fucking government. Okay. That's it. That's what that is. It is literally not just like an eyesore, but also just basic human decency being cast aside. Okay. No one should have to live like that. And it is wild. It is just, it's wild that we're literally watching people live on the fucking streets. Okay. In goddamn tents. In the wealthiest Trying nation. High speed trains. On America. earth. Like this is where they live. They're That's just... really wild. I didn't know also that, um, you know, when, when you see stuff like that on the streets, at least Bugatti. in Los Angeles or maybe in California, those are, that's protected property, like by law. You know that? Like if you were so to So you're go, not supposed to do that. But, and, and, but like that's that person's property by law. If you oh, were to the go, homeless person's property yes. is protected? Yes. Dude, this is, this is awesome. He, he's just straight up fucking admitting that he doesn't see homeless people as human beings. Hassle from a mailman. You don't say you stuff like this unless you straight up don't believe homeless people are human beings. Like, that's it. He's saying like, what? They own stuff? They can have rights? Like, he literally, that, that's it. That's straight up what this is. Absolutely. Huh. If you were to go and try to move that or take that. You'd they, get arrested. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Why is that hilarious? Of course. Isn't Joe Rogan like a libertarian? I don't understand. Rest if you shot somebody. Maybe mm -hmm. you should just go and shoot the homeless people. I like your ideas. Yeah. yeah. And if nobody claims it, I mean, nobody does anything about violent crime in LA anymore. It's a fucking joke. Yeah. They're just letting people out. What? Does Joe Rogan not know that there was literally a fucking mass murderer of homeless people in the DC, New York area? Dude, 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 dude. Joe Rogan faced with uh, the, the truth that, like, homeless people are human beings and that Yo, you can't, like, just steal their shit evade, even though it looks like trash. And he just fucking turns around and his first, socialism his first house, move immediately after so this revelation content, is to just kill them. In these fuck times. Love he you, said he was you. joking after this clip, but still, what the fuck? The most charitable uh, approach to this, by the way, the most charitable approach I can have, okay, to this is that he was not just, like, joking... But he was joking about, um, he was, he was joking about like, uh, how, not just joking, but like, he's trying to say that like cops don't do anything about murder or some shit. And he just let it out. Like, I think he was just trying to make an argument about how like California fucking lets out, uh, murderers or whatever, which is not real, but like another reactionary fucking talking point. This is my opinion and you can feel free to agree or disagree. That's. Philip DeFranco doesn't give his opinion on most things. So the fact that he gave his opinion on this is kind of wild. The point uh, it, but it, he gave his opinion on the Joe Rogan thing to defend him on the joke side. Having these conversations and discussions, but I, I personally don't understand how you could watch that clip and go, yes, Joe Rogan is legitimately calling for the murder of the unhoused. To me, that seems like two comedians, Rogan and Segura, talking about the authorities having their priorities out of whack. Joking that the police are more likely to try and arrest you for stealing from an unhoused person rather than if you murdered them, right? Like if you lived in a place where people were more likely to be prosecuted because they were going like 100 10 miles an hour in a 60 rather than committing manslaughter you'd be like oh yeah if you're gonna drive 110 miles an hour just drive into someone to me it just feels like a kind of a random throwaway joke that said i'm not gonna villainize the advocates that jumped on this story I think oh he basically said no he, he said what i said like the most charitable interpretation of this is that like the sign of e -E -E. It's, it's like uh it's more so a take about like the lack of prosecution revolving around like hardened criminals that do murder or whatever but ultimately uh that's fucking false as well and it started off with him straight up saying homeless people are not human. <laughs> so also his confusion about them owning stuff does not fit at all. Yeah, of course, because it's a bad, it's a poorly executed like misdirection. Well, not even a misdirection, really. Because the original premise under the underlying original premise, the attitude that Joe Rogan has is genuine shock when he finds out that like homeless people do have uh, like homeless people are humans. Yeah, and that ass. they can have, like, uh, ownership over property and stuff. Like, what he is saying, not as a joke, is the fact that he doesn't believe homeless people are, are, are people. Why the fuck would he be surprised that homeless people can, like, own shit and have, like, uh, and, and be protected by 
uh, by by some laws. You have a fucking multi-millionaire, out-of-touch fucking dickhead who has robbed the humanity of fucking homeless people so permanently that, like, the prior thing is more offensive, in my opinion. Not the murdering homeless people. The prior revelation leading up to that supposed joke, which was, like, a, a, a way to redirect the conversation to, like, fucking how... You know, oh, people don't even care about crime anymore. Like the classic fucking reactionary bullshit. The real fucking insane thing is that he's shocked. Legitimately shocked that homeless people have possessions that you cannot steal from.